Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the slurry hydrometer. It's a device which is used to measure the dry matter content of the slurry and we use that as an indicator of the nutrient content of your slurry before you spread it on your grassland. It's a huge advantage to know this information. We have some typical values for slurry content across farms, but the actual slurry value, the nutrient value, can vary a lot between farms. So this is a great device that we can use that will give us a, a, a true value for our slurry before we spread it out. Our slurry hydrometer, uh, I've been kept in this plastic case here to mine it. It's a glass device. Um, it's very simple to use. It has a mark on it to measure the dry matter content. And it's as simple as just dropping it into our sample of slurry that we've collected here. Um, it's important to collect the representative slurry from uh, either a slurry tank or from your, from your slurry spreader. Um, and it's as simple as dropping it in. We'll drop it to about the 7% mark. Wherever it'll settle, it'll only take a minute or two. We take that value, so five, six, seven, whatever the dry matter percentage is, and we look at our, our nutrient value given the, the dry matter percentage. And we have that in our, in our Chagas Green Book. So now I'll drop it in. After a minute, we can use the macro and nutrient advice book for um, indicating the nutrient content of a, based on the dry matter of our slurry. At the moment, it's at 7%. Um, and that can give us a, an NPK value of uh, up to 8530 uh, based on this, this dry matter sample that we've taken. Key message is that it's a big advantage for the farmer to know exactly how much nutrient is in his slurry so that when he does apply it to his fields it's captured in the grass and we lose less of it towards the waterways. Mm -hmm.